What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to another episode of Tuna Things. Today, we are working on my misfiring Integra. Don't mind the oil, I just spilled that just now. She was low. Uh, so I have to replace my cap and rotor. Very simple, three bolts, one, two, and the third one is on the bottom. Down here. And that will take the cap off. These are bound to this, so don't try and, they're not gonna come all the way off. And then to replace it, um, you know, reverse order. Round one, fight. See here that the rotor is seriously de discolored. Um, it's not a good sign. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to crank it over and try and get this to this side so that I can get access to the screw through here. Probably have to take this intake tube off as well. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so as you can see here, there's quite a big difference between the old, which has quite a bit of corrosion and funk on it, and the new. So one thing I wanted to note is I said these screws do not come off of the cap, and apparently these come separate, so I'm gonna get this all assembled and back together. Here's your new one. Only fits on one way. You gotta get this back in the hole. Just like that. I'm gonna go grab some new wires. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna do this in a little unconventional way. I'm replacing the wires as well, so yeah. As I replace them, I'm gonna put them onto the new cap since the cap only fits one way. I'm just gonna pull them off and follow the wire, so. see how it drives oh it's like she's got new life very important thing to do I believe that they were, they were done by the previous owner but they just weren't so there's no way so, hell yeah oh, shit and a kid from American History X out there that's cap and rotors on a 1999 Acura Integra and uh, should be fairly similar on other Hondas, Acuras, uh, pretty much any other vehicle. Um, that's how they're put together and very simple thing to change unless it's hard to get to. And, but yeah, so thank you. Like, comment, and subscribe in the comment section below. Let me know what you guys do when you buy used cars, what your tune-up procedure is. All right, have a good one. Peace.